am on my way out of town and I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to get my machine serviced. It's nothing wrong with it, but I do want to take it in to get the cleaning done on it and to make sure everything is still good, get it oiled and make it all nice and feel like it's brand new. So yes, I will take you with me to the place that I'm going to drop it off. And then next time you see me, I should be on my way out of town via airplane. I'm a tech. <laughs> I kind of have a thing for, you know, seeing the machine come in. Okay. Kind of just figuring it might need a service. Okay. Um, so is this just a routine? Cleaning? Yes, just, just a routine. regular. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Nothing's wrong. Okay. I'm gonna give you back your your foot. Oh, okay. And then that way you can um, keep this little guy and uh, and because I'm gonna use a different foot to sew off your machine. Okay. And you don't have a bobbin, which is okay. I'll just, uh, we have bobbins. We can put one in there. Okay. And then I'll give you back this little guy too. Okay. <laughs> Less things for me to lose. I get it. <laughs> <laughs>
flight as you can see and I made it to my destination and wow it is so nice out here I wasn't sure what the weather was gonna be but it's really really nice and in fact this top is a little bit hot for this weather so I may end up changing but I wanted to share with you that this top that I wore when I was at the airport is McCall's 8113 I made view A so some of the details in this top, it does have a peplum hem, which is really nice. There is gathering at the sleeves, up here at the sleeve cap. There, I'm trying to remember everything because I usually write everything down and I have it with me. So I'm just going off the top of my head. There is elastic that is sewn into the bottom of the hem to create the little gathers here. And it's also sewn on the inside of the hem of the sleeve so you have gathering on both sides of the sleeve which I think is a really nice detail but oh yeah and I forgot to mention there is a zipper in the back so it calls for an invisible zipper so I did put that in so yeah those are the details in the top I really like it I thought I wanted to wear something long sleeve for the plane because I figured that it may be really chilly on the airplane so I'm glad I did because I did get a little cool and that way I was covered so yes but now I think I'm gonna have to definitely go and change so I will come back probably when I get back home to share with you my next sewing make which is also a top that I really like so stay tuned and I will be seeing you all really soon oh my gosh look at my windshield there's one there one up here Oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys what happened. So I made it back from my trip. I had a really good time despite what happened to my windshield. So my husband and I were coming home from the airport. He was driving and we were just talking, having a conversation. And then out of nowhere, we heard this really loud noise and we looked at each other and then we looked at the window and that's when we noticed those three little spots. So something, we don't know what, hit the windshield and it just caused the damage that you saw so like I said we don't know what it was where it came from it was just totally random out of the blue and it scared us but I'm just so grateful that whatever it was did not come all the way through the window and harm you know either him or harm me so yes I'm just grateful for that and the windshield can be replaced so other than that my trip was great and while I was there while I was out of town I spent a lot of time watching reality TV <laughs> and I don't know if you all have seen married at first sight but that's what I spend a lot of time watching and one of the wives I think her name is Omani I found out while I was watching the show that Omani also sews so I thought that that was really really interesting so yes now that I've been watching it you know I'm just so excited to see how this ends because I've never seen a whole what would you call it episode or whatever from beginning to end I don't know the episode doesn't seem like the right word but I've never seen from the beginning to the end so I've been catching up on this one every Wednesday so it's pretty pretty interesting so yes now I want to tell you about my next sewing make so my next sewing make is a top and it is McCall's 8117 I made this top out of a crepe fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics now the whole garment is self-lined there is a tie even the tie is self-lined so there's a tie on the side and then there is a little opening on the same side that the tie is on which i think is pretty pretty cool and yeah that's it it's a real it's really you know it doesn't have a whole lot of details there is a quarter inch elastic that goes around the neckline area in the top and i would say that's about it as far as the details are concerned
Okay, so I just want to also give you an update on my sewing machine. I have not received it back. And in fact, when I dropped it off, the guy at the store told me that it would take about two weeks to get it back. So I've been using my backup machine, which works just fine. So it's cool that I have that machine so that I can, you know, still make garments and sew while I'm waiting for my other machine to come back. So yes, that is it. Those are my two sewing makes for this video. Before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So something I learned recently regarding travel is that there is an airport in Singapore that has a slide, you know, like a slide you would see at a playground. There is a slide in the airport. And if you get on this particular slide, at least the one that I learned about, it will take you to your gate. So you can slide down and when you come out, you'll be at the gate that you need to be at in order to get on your airplane. <laughs> I think that is just super cool and that's something I would definitely do if I saw a slide or I was at that airport I would get on that thing in a heartbeat it just sounds like a whole lot of fun